Hi, this is Billy Newson here with the physics video on the accelerometer lab that we took home. Uh, today, I will be doing two experiments, uh, the first of which is a trip in the car um, to see how the cork reacts to acceleration, deceleration. My next and final segment will be um, the one where you take it, put your arm out, and you spin around in a circle, and we'll see what we find there. Uh, let's take a look at our videos. I'm here in the car where we are going to be conducting our first experiment, uh, accelerating in the car with our accelerometer to see which way the cork pulls. Okay, so we're now at a stoplight and we're about to accelerate. You can see the cork is moving forward. That's the direction of our acceleration. You see we're about maintaining constant velocity here, so we're just a, a little bit of forward acceleration, um, but not as far forward as when we started up. And now we are slowing down, and you can see the cork is moving towards the back of the accelerometer. Um, and as we continue to slow down, now we're just about stopped, and it goes back to floating in the middle. Now onto our second demo. We are going to uh, take our accelerometer in hand and spin around in a circle, and you can see how the cork um, comes in closer. Uh, to the camera to show that forces are holding it uh, forward as opposed to pushing it away. The reason that the cork will jump to the side experiencing acceleration is because the water has more inertia, so it will try to occupy the same space it was before the acceleration. This in turn causes the cork to move out of the way, because the water needed to occupy the space that the cork was taking up. Thank you, and goodbye.